feet, yard, miles, inches, quarts, liters, kilograms, pounds. You're probably getting a little bit stressed just thinking about all those units, but have no fear because Anywhere Math is here. Welcome to Anywhere Math, I'm Jeff Jacobson and today we're talking about converting units. Alright, today's all about converting units. Now you should be pretty familiar with uh, both types of systems, the customary units that the US uses uh, and metric units, the metric system that pretty much the entire world uses except the US. Uh, quick reminder, customary units are things like inches, uh, feet, yards, miles, uh, and then for volume, you got things like cups, gallons, right? Uh, we've got pounds, okay? Uh, those are your customary units. If you're from the U.S., that's what you're used to, right? Uh, if you're from another part of the world that's not the U.S., you're used to the metric system. Metric units are very simple. They're really easy. They're all based on the power of 10. So you've got things like uh, millimeters, right? Or centimeters, right? Obviously meters, kilometers, okay? Uh, you've got things like uh, for volume instead of cups and gallons, you've got liters or milliliters, right? Uh, for weight, instead of things like pounds, you've got grams or kilograms. Okay, so those are the two uh, systems we're going to be talking about, and we're you should be already pretty uh, familiar with converting within one system, right? So going from feet to yards or inches to feet uh, or Metric is even easier, right, going from centimeters to meters or meters to millimeters. Uh, but what you might not have done and what we're going to do today is going between both. So maybe going from miles to centimeters. Okay, so that's what we're going to talk about today. All right, here's example number one. Convert 36 quarts, that's what QT stands for, to gallons. Now, with this first example, we're not going between the systems quite yet. We're still just in the customary units. Uh, but for this problem, if I'm going to convert, I need to know some information that's not here. I need to know well, how many quarts are in one gallon. Okay. And what that information is called, we need the conversion factor. Conversion factor is simple. It's just a rate. If you saw the previous videos, we did, did one on rates. Uh, we need a rate. A conversion factor is a rate that equals 1. Now, that sounds a bit confusing, but let me demonstrate. So, for this example, I need the information uh, for a certain specific conversion factor going from quarts to gallons. So, I know that one gallon is equal to four quarts. Okay. Now this is a rate. I can write it like a ratio. I can replace that with a colon or I could write it like a fraction. One gallon over four quarts. And the reason this is a conversion factor, factor, excuse me, is that this rate equals one. One gallon is the same as four quarts. So I could just simply substitute, instead of a gallon, I could put, well, that's the same as four quarts over four quarts. Well, and four quarts over four quarts is one. So that's why we say a conversion factor is a rate, right? We've got two different units. Uh, that equals one. So with that information, one gallon is equal to four quarts. Now I can convert. So what I'm going to do 
is I am going to set up a problem and I'm going to write this with as a fraction using that conversion factor. I'm starting with my amount, 36 quarts. Okay. I want to get to gallons. Okay. So I know my conversion factor is uh, one quart is equal, to, sorry, four quarts is equal to one gallon. I want to cancel out the quarts and just be left with gallons. So when I'm using my conversion factor, I'm going to put quarts in the denominator. Well, four quarts is equal to one gallon. Okay. If I do that, notice what happens to these quarts, right? Before we multiply fractions, we always try to simplify. Well, quarts over quarts, those would cancel out. So I'm left with 36 divided by 4 times 1 gallon. Well, 36 divided by 4 is just 9. 9 times 1 gallon is 9 gallons. So convert 36 quarts to gallons. 36 quarts is equal to 9 gallons. Okay. Here's some to try on your own. Here's example number two. Compare 25 ounces with two kilograms. See which one's greater than or which one's less than. Uh, so if you see this hint, I said one pound is equal to 16 ounces. Okay. And one pound is equal to 0 0.45 kilograms. So to be able to compare these, I need to make sure the units are the same. So either I go from 25 ounces and change them into or convert them into kilograms or I convert these two kilograms into ounces. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you do. Some might be easier than others. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to do it one way. I'm going to go from 25 ounces to two kilograms and then compare them that way. Uh, so first, if you notice, I don't have a conversion factor for going straight from ounces to kilograms, right? So I got to do an intermediary step. I got to go from ounces to pounds first and then from pounds to kilograms. So I'm starting with 25 ounces. I'm going to write that as a fraction. Uh, and I'm going to convert it to pounds. So I want to cancel out the ounces, which means these 16 ounces are going to be in my denominator. So times uh, one pound for every 16 ounces. That's my conversion factor, right? I've got 25 ounces. Uh, so logically, if I think, well, 25 is not quite 32, so it's not going to be quite two pounds. It's going to be uh, between one and two pounds, right? So I'm going to be, those ounces cancel out, and I'm going to have to do 25 divided by 16, which if you have a calculator and you feel like using it, go ahead. Hopefully your teacher will let you use uh, calculators because this is, can kind of be tedious. My students feel free to use a calculator. 25 divided by 16 is 1.562, and my units are going to be pounds, because I still have those pounds there. Okay, So I've got 1.562 pounds, uh, but now I need to go to kilograms. So same thing, I've got that over 1. I want to cancel out my pounds. So that one pound is going to be in the denominator over one pound. That's equal to 0 0.45 kilograms. Kind of running out of space here. Uh, so again, these pounds will cancel out right just below it. So I'm going to do 1.6, sorry, 1.562 times the pounds are gone, 0 0.45, and that answer will be in kilograms. And if you use your calculator, you can check your answer with me. I got 0 0.703125 kilograms. Okay. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So uh, not quite one whole kilogram, less than a kilogram. Uh, so now if I'm comparing, remember my original question, I'm trying to compare these two. 
I know 25 ounces is the same as 0 0.703125 kilograms, which would mean that is less than 2 kilograms. Okay. Here's some to try on your own. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.